Welcome to this week's edition of WTHS News. I'm Katie Reeves. And I'm Kendall Brooks. Today is Friday, February 10th, and here are this week's top stories. Our cheer team left yesterday to compete in the National Cheerleading Competition in Disney World this weekend. We called out with some of the cheerleaders to hear their expectations of their weekend with Mickey. Nationals is a competition held in Orlando, Florida. Um, it's our final competition, really what we work for all year. Nationals is in Orlando, Florida at Disney World in the ESPN Wild World of Sports. And I went last year with the team and a couple of times when my sister was a cheerleader. I think that we're pretty prepared. We've done a lot of practicing. We put in a lot of work to be as good as we are right now, and I think we're ready. I do feel prepared because Ms. Offer pushes us a lot during practice and it makes us feel better every time we hit our stunt and, you know, just a chilling team with each other on every time we hit something. I personally feel really prepared. I feel like we can hit everything that we have in our routine that sometimes we lose motivation, but Ms. Alford always keeps us like motivated and always makes us work hard. According to Ms. Alford, she says that the stunts that we've done are a lot harder than they did last year and we've improved as a team. We're really confident this year, and uh, I just think we're ready to kill it. We've been working on multiple vertical stunts and our pyramid and things, and just hoping that we can get that choreographed really well. My goal for nationals is definitely to make finals, top 10. Last year we got ninth place, so this year I'm hoping for, you know, something lower. My goal for nationals is to make finals and at least get in the top five. Hopefully we can get top five. I know that we have the potential, but you know, it just kind of depends on what the judges think about us. Uh, to win, make top ten, basically yeah, top five actually, and to have fun. Um, I've been working on my tumbling and my stunting, really, mostly. Our main goal is to just make it to finals. So once we do our first routine, they'll judge that and decide whether we go to finals or not. With this being my last competition, it's really bittersweet. It's kind of weird. It doesn't like, I'm not processing that this is my last competition. It's not going to hit me until after, you know, we go. Um, I'm just really excited about Disney World though. It's going to be an awesome time. Um, it's a good feeling because now that I've achieved something that I've been working hard for many years. It feels kind of good, but then kind of bad, you know, I'm gonna miss the people. And I think I'm going to do the sport in college, maybe. It's really sad, but I think that it'll be good. You know, we've all been doing it for a really long time, and it's time to let the younger people, like, step up. Um, it's very sad because, I mean, I've cheered all four years of high school, so, like, I'm, you know, leaving a part behind me. But I'm very excited, too, for, like, the next chapter, and I will definitely be coming back to support my little babies. Katie, you should really think about being a cheerleader. <laughs> Not with these thunder thighs. Plus, I heard it's supposed to be cold this weekend. Is it? Let's check with Walker and Steven to see the upcoming weather. Oh, hey, there you are. Thanks, guys. I'm Walker Clayton. I'm Steven Matthews, and this is your seven-day forecast. You might be wondering why we're all the way up here. Why are we up here, Steven? Just scouting out the weather for the week. Oh, yeah, that's right. Today it's going to be highs in the mid-60s and lows in the mid-50s, and Saturday and Sunday are both going to be highs in the mid-70s, and there's a 20% chance of rain on Sunday. During the week, the weather should be lovely. On Monday and Tuesday, there's highs in the low 60s and lows in the mid 40s. And on Wednesday and Thursday, there's highs in the 50s with a 20% chance of rain. Back to y'all in the studio. Steven, I don't know how we're going to get down from here. I'm glad it's not raining on Valentine's Day. Kendall, do you have any plans? I actually really need your help. With what? There's these two guys I really like, so I think I might just spend Valentine's Day with both of them. Who are they? One's name is Ben, and the other's Jerry. They're just always there for me. I wonder if anyone else will be having as much fun as Kendall on Valentine's Day. Let's see what some THS students have planned. So Jacob, Valentine's Day is coming up and I want to know, do you have a boo thing you'll be spending it with? I don't have a boo thing, but me and my mom, she's a pretty cool girl. We're going to go watch a movie and get some dinner. I'm going to be spending my Valentine's Day with uh, Lily and Annette Reed. Tiffany Anderson. Nathan Tumbling. Who do you have in mind for Valentine? Uh, it's classified. Classified, I'm your sister, you can tell me. Nah. Who was your Valentine? My vet. just give me one thing. Well, I don't have a Valentine, but the closest thing I have is Coach Begno. He's my celebrity crush. This is my Valentine's right here. Hey, I'm Max. <laughs> Max, who was your Valentine this year? Uh, Jessica Webb. Oh, and Olivia Collier and Lexi Park. Uh, we got a little special somebody. I ain't gonna say it right now over the air. I'm gonna make sure she knows personally from my heart. Yeah, I could have more. 
probably Lil McGraw or Molly Womack. I can't say it on camera. Oh, okay. I do. Her name is Ashton Davis. Okay, well, let's bring her up. So how do y'all plan on spending y'all's Valentine's Day? Uh, watching movies, <laughs> hugging, holding hands. Uh, yep, all of that. Just gonna have fun, just quality time. Hugging. And who's your Valentine's Queen? You are, Brandon. Oh. Um, actually, no, because a guy at the school wanted to break my heart and play me with another girl. Emma Ray Leathers. Are you going to be getting her anything special? I probably will. Uh, Anna Acosta. Oh, uh, do y'all have any special plans? Um, we're gonna hang out Valentine's weekend. He's a he's a cool guy, I guess. But yeah, I do. We plan on going to the movies and you know going out to eat. Yeah, that's it. Who do you think you'd have in mind to be your Valentine? I don't know. You Snapchat a couple girls? Yeah, a few. A few? Okay. So I'm here with one of those few that John Snapchats. Um, well, I'm just probably going to stay in my bed and watch Netflix and Snapchat some guys. So we just had this talk the other night. What we're going to do is we're actually going to take all of my kids out to dinner, and we're going to give my kids letters on saying why we love them individually, like how we love them. Uh, I may go to Walmart and get some chocolate and whatnot and just, like, sit in my room. My plans are to be the Romeo of so Tupelo High School. Who's your Juliet? Uh, Alexis Kuntz is my Juliet. <gasps> so I'm spending Valentine's Day at home with my best friends eating cookies and cake and ice cream. That's always good. So you're going to have a little Galentine's action? Yeah. Well, so what do you have planned for us? You're going to take me out and buy me everything that I want. <laughs> oh, wow. Y'all think y'all be getting any special gifts? I better be. So you have a celebrity crush, but you're not going to give him anything? No. So, Will, if you had to pick a celebrity crush, who would it be? Um, I'd go with Selena Gomez. Why Selena Gomez? Because she's hot. Zac Efron? My plans for Valentine's Day is to make my wife happy. Well, I'm going to carry her out to dinner, and then I'm going to give her her Valentine, and then the rest is history, <laughs> just uh, to make one another happy, you know, and to make one another feel real special. Oh, that's so sweet. Wow, those guys really know how to treat their girl. I hope some of you other guys learned some tips from that. Let's see how well our third block guys know their ladies. Hello, welcome to the Third Block Couple Game Show. I'm your host, Miles Roy. In Third Block, we have three couples, Ryan and Katie. Anna and Walker. And Charlie and Catherine. These couples have been together for some time now, but let's see how well they really know each other. Katie and Ryan, how long have y'all been together? I put two years, uh, three months, and 27 days. That's not right. It's actually two years and four months. Um, uh, two years in April. One year, ten months. Mm. I put one year and seven months. I put one year in six months. Pretty good there. Next question, where was your first date? We went to Danvers. Danvers. Ah. Pretty good there, the same. Uh, we also went to Danvers. <laughs> Two in a row. We went to the movies. The Hunger Games for me. <laughs> there you have it. Third question, what's y'all's favorite thing to do? Katie and Ryan. I put eat food. <laughs> Watching TV. Oh, it differs, folks. I put just be together. Watching TV. <laughs> Obviously, he thinks different. I put that we like to walk Charlie's dog together. Watch TV. <laughs> the fourth question, what is her favorite Netflix show? Katie and Ryan. Gossip Girl. Are you kidding me? I thought it was Friends. My favorite is The Blacklist. <laughs> no? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I put Friends. Crazy now. <laughs> and the fifth question What color are your girl's eyes? Katie and Ryan. Blue. Blue. 
blue. <laughs> little grayish blue. <laughs> <laughs> a little difference there. Brown. Brown. And the sixth question. What's your man's biggest pet peeve? Katie and Ryan. Um, I put me as in everything I do and crowds. Smacking. <laughs> Okay, I put when people breathe slash cough on your, on your face. Actually, it's not. It's when people cough with their hands. <laughs> I talk with my hands. <laughs> I put when people can't hear him slash when he can't hear other people. Bad driving. <laughs> <laughs> he means women. This last round's really coming down to the wire here, folks. So I must ask y'all, y'all's one last question. What, what's his favorite restaurant? Katie and Ron. I just took a wild guess, Danvers. That's wrong, it's not Fuji. When have you ever been there? Okay, I'll put Outback. I should've that one. Man. I put Tellini's. It is Tellini's. Oh, look at, look at that. Winner. Kendall, are you ready for tonight? Wait, is my date with Ben and Jerry tonight? No, it's Charity Ball. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I don't have a dress. It's okay, girlfriend, I brought an extra. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna go try it on. Dang, Kendall, you look good. Thanks, sweet girl. Catch us next week to see how poppin' our senior girls look tonight at Charity Ball.